in this video i'll talk about sampling techniques in this particular video i'll i'll cover only uh, the simple random sampling in a separate video i'll cover the stratified random sampling so what is a sampling so sampling is a technique that is used in 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 in, in modeling exercises and why do we do sampling because often we we have very large data set the population data set is very huge the software is not able to handle that kind of a data and it's very difficult to run your algorithm regression algorithm or any kind of uh, statistical algorithm on it because it will take a lot of time and it will use a lot of computational uh, you know uh, energy it will it, con it will consume a lot of uh, you know it will require a lot of computational time there are other uh, reasons for uh, you know doing a sampling as well a model is well built or can be well built by using a sample rather than using using a population well there are reasons behind it although although uh, it's a bit controversial in some sense but the main reason for which we do sampling is because uh, we don't want to uh, don't want to use a large data set uh, which which requires com uh, intensive computing uh, for the algorithm algorithm to, to run so how do we do that in sas in sas we use proc survey select to do sampling uh, i'll use uh, a data set from sas help um, i'm using here uh, the data set uh, named as cards i'll show you the data set before i do the sampling if you go to sas help you can see the data set cards where you have details about different cards you have make model type and other variables about the um, different cards i'll close the data set and now let's do sampling remember we are doing simple random sampling here So proc survey select data I'll give data name SAS health cars okay so before I uh, you know write the whole syntax you, you, you might be wondering that uh, what is simple random sampling and why do we call it as simple random sampling well in simple random sampling you randomly select any value from the data set or any observation from the data set it's completely random so the probability that an observation from a or any observation from a data set is selected in this kind of sampling is same is is same so there are two ways of doing it one way is that choosing an observation without replacement and the other one is with replacement which means in the first case you don't replace your observation once you have selected it okay it it it, it uh, is no more in the, your sample data and then you select another uh, another data from the sample whereas in the second case where you choose with replacement you if you select an observation from the sample you put it back and then select another observation so the same observation uh, could be selected twice or thrice or many times okay so that's the difference so that's the difference between simple random sampling uh, with replacement and without replacement there is another type of sampling known as stratified random sampling where we use different stratum or we use uh, strata to you know to uh, you know do some uh, some kind of a uh, to maintain uh, you know proportion i'll talk about in detail in in my uh, in my uh, in a separate video on stratified random sampling 
So in, in simple random sampling, only thing you should remember is that each and every observation in your data set has an equal probability to be selected in your sample data. Okay. Then we write method. Method is SRS, simple random sampling. Then we write REP, REP. Uh, so REP means how many number of samples you want. Uh, well, I want one sample, so I put it as one. If you want two samples, you can give uh, two samples. Uh, you know, two. Then what is the sample size? Sample size you want. Well, I want hundred observations. So sample size is hundred here. I want the out data set to be saved in the work library. So in the out statement, give a data set name. You can give work dot, you know, uh, sample data. So sample data is my data set name. Or you can just uh, give sample data without putting the work library along with the data set name. And then you give ID. So ID is like which all variables do you want in your sample data. You may not want all variables in your sample data. Well in this case I want all the variables. So I write underscore all underscore and then run. Let's run this code. Well, we have opened the data set, so that's not allowed in SAS. You cannot open a data set and do some operations. So let's run it again. Go to log first, and it says that you know sample data has been created with hundred observations. We can print the data and see whether it's it's done or not. Proc print sample data run. So let's print the sample data. So you can see there are hundred samples selected. So what if you want two sample? You want to you want to use REP is equal to two. So what will happen? So instead of having one sample, we want two sample. So let's put REP is equal to two, and let's run it again. And let's print the values again as you can see in the output there is the first column is replicate and it says it's one so it will be one till the hundredth observation okay after the hundredth observation you can see from the hundred first observation the replicate is true. That means it the second sample. So how do you how do you you know differentiate between these two sample by using the uh, column replicate. So you can have two separate data set also. You know after you, you are done with the proc service select, you can have two separate data set with replicate is equal to one and replicate is equal to two. So that's about simple random sampling with replacement. Sorry, sorry, without replacement. So uh, whatever we have done so far is without uh, replacement. Okay. Now we will um, we we will write a code uh, which will do sampling with replacement. 
so we will use the same code there is a slight change in the syntax so I'll just copy and paste the same code only thing I will change is the method so instead of SRS I use URS so what does URS stand for URS stands for unrestricted random sampling well let let me put it put it in the comment unrestricted random sampling so this is simple random sampling with replacement So can you see the difference? The only difference is that instead of using method as SRS, you, we are using method as URS. So URS stands for unrestricted random sampling. And rest of the things are same. Let's run this code. You can also print this code by using proc print. So this is the output wherein we have the sample data, you know, uh, selected from a population data with replacement. So that's how we do simple random sampling in SAS. Just to summarize, we do simple random sampling in SAS by using PROC service lane. There are two ways of doing it. One way is with replacement, the other way is without replacement. In with replacement data, in sample random, uh, you know, in simple random sampling, the probability that an observation is selected in your data set is same across the board for, for it's same for all the observations.